Good evening, this is the, my name is Pradeep Prabhati. I serve as a Udamur Distinguished Professor and uh, Director for Composites and Advanced Materials Manufacture. Uh, our uh, objective is to produce lightweight self-duplicating castings, uh, which have a market of over $1 billion a year, and they can save millions of dollars in energy and maintenance costs while reducing pollution and reducing global warming. Uh, this just shows the uh, a chassis of Tesla where these composites can be used. Our initial market will be a lightweight self-duplicating compressor for class 7 8 trucks. And in the compressors, the investment to manufacture these compressors, total investment will be $4 million. The profits expected by year 5 will be $15.8 million. And by year 5, the company valuation would be as much as $103 million. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, that we basically are a material science company. This is the self-duplicating composite. These are the graphite particles. This is the aluminum head. And this is the liner made, already made and installed. So this is our prototype with this kind of liner and aluminum head. And the first target is truck airframe self-duplicating compressors. The total market is $170 million. And in future, lightweight self-duplicating bearings for heavy trucks and automotive applications. And the total market there is one billion. And these are the kind of components that can be made with our technology. Our compressors are 35% 30 lighter, require 25% less horsepower, reduced maintenance cost, and reduced pollution compared to iron compressors that are manufactured and used today. Uh, at this time, we have proven commercial prototype and it has been tested over 4,000 hours in a cement truck. We have a portfolio of strong patents and trade secrets. Our market, as I said, 300,000 compressors at $575 a compressor. Total market of about $172.5 million in just civilian trucks. There will be additional markets in military trucks and our costs of manufacturing are close to $330 per compressor. As I mentioned that our overall market is $1 billion for truck and automotive bearing business and lines. Our sales plan is in addition to conventional advertising processes we will use mobile technology test bed driven around to fleet owners. Our direct sales will be large fleet owners, repair depots, OEMs, and then suppliers to OEMs. Our sales items will be about 9 to 12 months. Our management team, David Weiss, he will be the CEO, responsible for prototypes, final manufacturing, assembly, and shipping. He has over 30 years of experience in manufacturers of lightweight casting for transportation. He is a vice, vice president at Tech Industries, and he has an engineering degree from UW Management. Mike Black, responsible for marketing, advertising, sales, and distribution. Extensive experience in manufacturing and sales of oil compressors with Bendix, which is our competitor. He has tested prototype compressors that we have made as a startup ATS to make composite makers. Jim Hunter, responsible for financial management. Extensive industry experience starting several small businesses. President and CEO of Dynamic Solutions and MII Equipment. He has an MBA from Harvard and Bachelor's in Engineering from Purdue. And as I mentioned, I'm Pradeep Prohatke. I've held world leadership in developing lightweight, low cost composites. I have an extensive patent portfolio and proprietary information on these composites. I have worked with industry for a long time. I have a doctorate from MIT and I serve as a UWF distinguished professor. The funding that we are looking for, 
stage one in year one, 2.5 million dollars, year two, 1.5 million dollars. And we continue to grow this business because I believe it has a potential of 1 billion dollars a year market. And by the year five, the valuation of the company would be 103 million. And if it is desired by the investors, we could be acquired by a number of companies, including our current RN, comp RN compressor manufacturers, including Bundix and Verbo, Navistar, and Caribbean. In cash flow, as I mentioned, this is the increase in sale of compressors, 5,000 in the second year, to 30, to 60, to 90. Total revenue will rise to $51.57 million by year five. Profits, are, profits will be $15 million and the ending cash will be $13 million. And applying the 6.5 multiplier, the company valuation at the end of five years could be, uh, could be $103 million. So it's, um, in summary, uh, intelligent composites, initial markets are compressors of with, as a result of 4 million in investments, we could see a profit of 15.8 million dollars year 5 and the company evaluation could be 103 million dollars. In the bigger market for bearings and pistons and liners, for trucks, small engines and automobiles, the total market could be as large as 1 billion dollars and I believe we are headed to a much larger market to conserve fuel, to conserve energy, and to reduce global warming. Thank you. Thank you, Pradeep. Questions? Pradeep. Aiken. Uh, yes, we have considered, we would like to manufacture because it requires some very unique technology. And in the beginning, we would like to man we would like to manufacture, and later on, it could be that we may we may think of licensing. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Pradeep.